Companies are all about acquiring talent and wanting talent, and you need to remember that they want you as much as you want them. Motivation. It's really important that you show strong personal motivation and drive. Be conscious that you need to make an impact within your first 100 days. You need to be positive and you need to have a can-do attitude and you need to run through walls for the employer. Competition is fierce for graduate jobs at the moment. Here's our advice on how to approach a graduate job, win that job and then secure that job. Once you get that job, you need to prove yourself. You need to approach the first 100 days as if you're continuously being assessed. You need to bring all of you that you showed at interview to the job itself. Your performance, your attitude, and your behavior is continuously under the spotlight. Show initiative, be proactive, get involved with additional projects and extracurricular activities. Go above and beyond. Be impressive. Consider your colleagues customers and exceed their expectation of you every time. Remember, your job is to service the business. Connect and engage with your colleagues. Ask questions. Be clear on deadlines and project timelines. Work hard. Be recognized for your accomplishments and your achievements and work your cotton socks off. Exactly, that is really, really, really important. Uh, to be successful, you really need to do a good job when you arrive in the company. But my contribution to you today will be about how to get to that point, how to get through the screening and selection process. What you really need to be confident around is that you know what you're doing at each step to maximise your chance of getting your talent as far down the recruitment process as possible and ultimately getting hired. You can be pretty sure you're going to encounter certain things that almost all employers do. All employers will ask you to complete either a structured standard application form or submit a CV. At this point in the process there are many, many applicants and companies and recruiters are very time poor and very, very busy. It's critical that you get all the exact detail down on the application form so there's no omissions, exclusions, incorrect information, spelling mistakes and the same in your CV. It's really, really important that you present yourself in the best light in a way that's really, really easy to understand for the recruiter because they only have a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes for each candidate at this stage. Many, many candidates are ejected from the process at this stage just by following the rules and giving the correct information. You can get yourself maybe halfway down the road. So for example, if you have things like international languages, uh, technical skills, certain types of experience, work placements, things within your education which you know are valuable, you need to put that up on the very, very top of the application form where possible and definitely within your CV because people will tend to read what's on the first page first and they'll make a decision very, very quickly. Many companies will then, in a graduate environment particularly, use things around called psychometric assessments. They be things like aptitude assessments, situational judgment assessments, things like behavioural styles questionnaires. These are used in order to find out which type of attributes or aptitudes you have that correlate highly with doing that job effectively if hired. The companies take these very, very seriously as they're very accurate in predicting things that are likely to impact your ability to do the job well. You should do any practice information they give you or example questions. Do not start the real assessment until you're fully sure what's actually involved in it and that you're able to do the example questions correctly. And if they give you access to practice sites, you should definitely go and take those sites, look at them and learn how the assessments work. The employers want you to be on a level playing field and to do your best on the assessments because they want to acquire talent, not for you to fail at the testing. So purely by doing the screening piece correctly with your resume, your CV, the application form, and organising yourself correctly with the aptitude or personality assessment, you're giving yourself a really good chance of being brought to the next stage. Before going to final interview, you should find out as much as you can about what the job might entail and also about the company itself. Well, that was really relevant advice. So what I'm going to look at is how you can put yourself in that position. One of the most important tips I can give you on how to get that graduate job is to develop your employability skills. When employers are surveyed, they nearly always say that the most important thing is that students come out of university with employability skills. But what exactly do they mean? Well, first up, communication is absolutely vital. They want to know how you can communicate with others in written and verbal ways, but also how you can instruct teams, lead teams, and give concise and clear information. The next tip I can give you is to get work ready. It's really important that students and graduates bolster their CVs with relevant work experience wherever possible. 
80% of graduate employers run internship programs and these are a great way for you to get to know them and for them to get to know you. They also are a direct pathway into placements on graduate programs after you graduate, so they're really important. It's also really important to study hard and to get the best result you can. 58% of employers in a recent Grad Island survey stipulated a 2-1 or above as the minimum academic criteria they're looking for to get a place on their graduate program. So while it's not a disaster if you have a 2-2, getting a 2-1 or above gives you the widest possible choice in terms of getting onto graduate programs. And the other thing that's really important is to make yourself future-proof. All jobs are technology jobs now. We often hear about a skill shortage in the tech sector, but every job from agriculture through to zoology has been massively affected by changes in technology. So every company is looking for IT competent, tech savvy graduates. So position yourself in that way and you'll give yourself the best chance. And my final piece of advice is you need to know where to look for opportunities and where to go for help and advice. Graduate programs, summer internships and immediate graduate jobs are primarily advertised on gradisland.com. On gradisland.com as well, you can register your profile, which means that you can set up your profile to be sent relevant opportunities and careers advice that's right for you. The other thing that's really important is if you don't know what to do, you can go online and run the Grad Island Careers Report, which is a graduate job matching system that works online and helps identify career paths for you and also matches into relevant graduate job profiles. And finally, if you're on campus, make sure that you use your campus careers service to review your CV and to get the best advice possible as you prepare for your future. So stay positive. I hope you find this advice useful and best of luck.